Hey everyone, it's Passive Income Journey 777 here, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if there's one thing I always emphasize, it's the importance of thinking long-term about your finances, especially when it comes to investing. You can't just set it and forget it. You always have to be looking forward. Today, we're going to be diving deep into the top three investment strategies you need to know to crush it in 2025. These aren't just random ideas, they're strategies I personally use and that I believe have the potential to yield some serious returns in the coming years. Remember, this isn't financial advice, and I'm not your financial advisor. This is just me sharing what I'm seeing in the market and how I'm positioning myself for the future. So, if you're ready to take your investment game to the next level and maximize those returns, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get right into it. The first strategy, and arguably the most important, is diversification. You've probably heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? Well, in the investing world, that's the golden rule. The idea is simple. By spreading your investments across different asset classes, you're essentially mitigating your risk. What does that mean? It means if one investment goes south, it doesn't tank your entire portfolio. Think about it like this. Would you rather have all your money in a single stock, no matter how promising it seems, or would you prefer to have a mix of stocks, bonds, real estate, and maybe even some alternative investments like crypto? For me, the answer is clear. Diversification is key. It's the bedrock of any sound investment strategy, and it's something I'm constantly evaluating and adjusting in my own portfolio. Now, when we talk about diversification, we can't ignore asset allocation. This is where you decide what percentage of your portfolio goes into each asset class. It's about finding the right balance for your risk tolerance and investment goals. Are you someone who's comfortable with higher risk for potentially higher returns? Then maybe you allocate a larger chunk to stocks, particularly growth stocks. Or are you more risk averse, prioritizing stability and consistent income? In that case, bonds and real estate might make up a bigger portion of your portfolio. The key is to find what works best for you. There's no one size fits all approach, but by carefully considering your risk tolerance, time horizon, and financial goals, you can create a diversified portfolio that aligns with your individual needs. Remember, your ideal asset allocation will change over time. When you're younger and have a longer time horizon, you can afford to take on more risk. You have more time to recover from any potential losses. But as you get closer to retirement, you might want to shift towards a more conservative approach, prioritizing capital preservation and income generation. It's all about adapting your strategy to your changing circumstances. Regularly review and rebalance your portfolio to make sure it still aligns with your goals. But let me tell you, diversification goes beyond just asset classes. It's also about diversifying within those asset classes. Don't just buy one or two stocks, spread your bets. Instead of putting all your money into just the S&P 500, consider investing in international markets, small cap stocks, or even emerging markets. Each of these subcategories comes with its own set of risks and rewards. By spreading your investments across different sectors and geographies, you further reduce the impact of any single event on your overall portfolio. Remember, diversification is all about managing risk and maximizing your chances of success in the long run. Now you might be thinking, Graham, this all sounds great, but how do I actually diversify my portfolio? Well, one of the easiest and most effective ways is through index funds and ETFs. These investment vehicles allow you to invest in a basket of assets with a single purchase, making it super simple to diversify your portfolio. You can find index funds and ETFs that track everything from the S&P 500 to emerging markets to specific sectors like technology or healthcare. They're low cost, easy to manage, and offer instant diversification. Look, the market is unpredictable. We've seen it time and time again. 
That's why diversification is so important. It's your safety net, your buffer against those inevitable market downturns. By spreading your investments, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket, and you're protecting yourself from potentially devastating losses. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint, and diversification is one of the key strategies that will help you cross that finish line with a smile on your face. All right, moving on to our second investment strategy for 2025 emerging markets. Now, when I talk about emerging markets, I'm talking about countries that are experiencing rapid economic growth and development. Think about countries like India, Brazil, or even some countries in Southeast Asia. These markets often have younger populations, rising middle classes, and huge potential for growth. While investing in emerging markets does come with its own set of risks, the potential rewards can be significant. You see, as developed economies like the US and Europe mature, their growth tends to slow down. Emerging markets, on the other hand, are just getting started. They're hungry for innovation, hungry for infrastructure, and hungry for the kind of products and services that many of us take for granted. This creates tremendous opportunities for investors who are willing to look beyond their own backyard. Now, I know what you're thinking, Graham, isn't investing in emerging markets risky? And you're right, it can be, but that's where diversification comes in again. By allocating a portion of your portfolio to emerging markets, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. You're adding another layer of diversification that can potentially boost your returns while mitigating some of the risks associated with any single market. Remember, it's all about balance. So, how do you actually invest in emerging markets? Well, you have a few options. You can buy individual stocks of companies based in emerging markets, but that can be time-consuming and requires a lot of research. A simpler approach is to invest in emerging market ETFs or mutual funds. These funds pool money from multiple investors to buy a basket of stocks from different emerging markets. It's a convenient and diversified way to gain exposure to these high-growth regions. However, before you jump headfirst into emerging markets, it's crucial to do your due diligence. Remember, these markets are still developing, which means they can be more volatile and less transparent than developed markets. It's essential to research the specific countries or regions you're interested in, understand the political and economic landscape, and carefully consider the potential risks involved. Look, I'm not saying you should go all in on emerging markets, but I do believe that they offer a compelling opportunity for long-term growth. By allocating a portion of your portfolio to these markets, you're positioning yourself to potentially benefit from their economic rise. Just remember to do your research, diversify your investments, and be prepared for some volatility along the way. Now let's talk about something that really gets me fired up, technology and innovation. It's not just a buzzword, it's the driving force behind the most exciting changes happening in our world today. This isn't just about the latest gadgets, although I do love those. It's about the incredible advancements that are transforming our daily lives in ways we couldn't have imagined a few years ago. This is about investing in the future, in the companies and ideas that are going to reshape our world. These are the pioneers who are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And trust me, the potential here is absolutely massive. We're on the brink of breakthroughs that will redefine industries and create entirely new ones. We're talking about a complete paradigm shift in how we live, work, and interact with the world around us. Imagine a world where virtual reality is as common as smartphones are today. Think about it. Just a few decades ago, the internet was in its infancy and now it's practically impossible to imagine life without it. The same will be true for the technologies we're developing now. That's the kind of exponential growth and disruption we're talking about. The pace of change is accelerating and it's thrilling to be a part of it. And the thing is, we're just scratching the surface. The innovations we're seeing now are just the beginning of what's to come. 
The next decade is going to make the last one look like a warm-up act. We're on the cusp of advancements that will seem like science fiction today, but will be everyday reality tomorrow. We're talking flying cars, personalized medicine, and maybe even colonies on Mars. These are not just dreams, they're becoming tangible goals. Okay, maybe not colonies on Mars just yet, but you get the idea. The possibilities are endless, and the future is closer than we think. The point is, this isn't science fiction anymore, it's becoming our reality. The technologies we once only saw in movies are now being developed and implemented. And the best part is, you can be a part of it, not just as a spectator, but as an investor. You have the opportunity to support and benefit from these groundbreaking innovations. By putting your money into the right companies, you're not just hoping for a return, you're actively shaping the future. You're contributing to the next wave of technological evolution. You're backing the innovators, the disruptors, the ones who are crazy enough to think they can change the world. And history has shown us that these are the people who often do. And who knows, maybe they will. The next big breakthrough could be just around the corner and you could be a part of that journey. So how do you get in on this? How do you identify the opportunities that have the potential to change the world and your financial future? Well, that's what we're gonna dive into right now. We're gonna explore the strategies and insights that can help you make informed investment decisions. Over the next few sections, I'm gonna break down some of the most promising areas of technology and innovation that I think are poised for explosive growth. These are the sectors that are not just trends, but the future. We're talking artificial intelligence, renewable energy, biotech, and more. Each of these fields holds incredible potential for growth and impact. So buckle up because things are about to get really exciting. The future is now and it's time to be a part of it. First up, let's talk about artificial intelligence or AI for short. It's a term that's been thrown around a lot lately, but what does it really mean for us? Now, I know what you might be thinking. Isn't AI going to take over the world and steal all our jobs? It's a common fear and it's understandable. And listen, I've seen the Terminator movies too, I get it. Hollywood has done a great job of making AI seem like the ultimate villain. But the truth is, AI is far less about killer robots and much more about making our lives easier, more efficient, and yes, even more profitable. Think about it. Imagine a world where mundane tasks are automated, freeing up our time for more creative pursuits. AI is already all around us, from the algorithms that recommend your next Netflix binge to the voice assistants on your phone. It's integrated into our daily lives in ways we often don't even realize. And this is just the beginning. The potential for AI to revolutionize various sectors is immense. We're talking about AI that can diagnose diseases with greater accuracy than human doctors, potentially saving countless lives and improving healthcare outcomes optimize traffic flow in real time, reducing congestion and making our commute smoother and more efficient, and even personalize your shopping experience down to the last detail, making it more enjoyable and tailored to your preferences. The applications are practically limitless. From agriculture to finance, AI is set to transform every industry. Now here's the thing, investing in AI isn't just about picking the next Google or Amazon. It's about understanding the broader landscape and the potential for innovation. While those are great companies, they're already giants. Their growth, while steady, may not be as explosive as it once was. The real opportunity lies in identifying the up-and-coming players, the innovators who are pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI. The smaller companies with groundbreaking AI technology that are poised for exponential growth. These are the companies that are often overlooked but have the potential to disrupt entire industries. These are the companies that could potentially deliver those life-changing returns but with great potential comes great risk. But remember, investing in individual stocks, especially in a cutting edge field like AI, can be risky. The market can be volatile and not every company will succeed. That's why it's crucial to do your research, diversify your portfolio and stay informed about the latest developments in the field. And maybe even consider investing in AI focused ETFs or mutual funds. These funds can provide exposure to a range of companies spreading out the risk. That way, you're spreading your risk across a basket of companies, increasing your chances of success. By being strategic and informed, you can navigate the exciting world of AI investments with confidence. All right, let's move on to another game changer, renewable energy. Look, we all know fossil fuels are on their way out. They're bad for the environment, 
They're a finite resource, and frankly, they're just not that cool anymore. The future is clean, it's green, and it's powered by the sun, wind, water, and other renewable sources. Now this isn't just some hippy-dippy pipe dream. The shift to renewable energy is already happening, and it's happening fast. Governments around the world are pouring billions of dollars into clean energy initiatives. Major corporations are setting ambitious sustainability goals, and consumers are increasingly demanding eco-friendly products and services. This massive transition presents a once-in-a-generation investment opportunity. We're talking about a complete overhaul of our energy infrastructure, from the way we generate electricity to the cars we drive. And that means massive growth potential for companies involved in solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, and other renewable energy technologies. Now, just like with AI, investing in renewable energy isn't without its risks. The industry is still evolving, and there will be winners and losers along the way. That's why it's important to do your due diligence, research different companies, and consider factors like government policies, technological advancements, and consumer demand. But if you play your cards right, investing in renewable energy could be incredibly rewarding, both financially and ethically. Next up, let's talk about an industry that's near and dear to my heart biotech. This field is revolutionizing the way we think about health and medicine. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I am passionate about living a long, healthy life. And I believe that the advancements in biotech will play a crucial role in achieving that. And let me tell you, the advancements happening in biotech right now are nothing short of mind-blowing. From cutting-edge research to innovative treatments, the progress is astounding. We're talking about the potential to cure diseases, extend lifespans, and enhance human capabilities in ways that were once thought impossible. Think about it. Imagine a world where chronic illnesses are a thing of the past. We're living in a time where gene editing, personalized medicine, and even artificial organs are becoming a reality. These advancements are not just theoretical, they are happening right now. We're on the cusp of breakthroughs in cancer treatment, Alzheimer's disease, and a whole host of other conditions that have plagued humanity for centuries. The future of healthcare is incredibly promising. The possibilities are truly endless. The innovations we are seeing today could lead to a healthier, longer life for everyone. Now, investing in biotech can be volatile. The market is unpredictable and the stakes are high. It's a high-risk, high-reward sector. The potential for significant gains is matched by the potential for significant losses. Clinical trials can fail, regulatory hurdles can arise, and competition is fierce. The path to success is fraught with challenges. But for those who are willing to do their homework and stomach the volatility, the potential rewards can be astronomical. The key is to stay informed and make educated decisions. Just imagine investing in the company that develops a cure for cancer or Alzheimer's. The impact on humanity would be immeasurable, and the financial returns would be equally staggering. The impact on humanity would be immeasurable, and the financial returns would be equally staggering. The potential for change is enormous. Of course, not every biotech company is going to hit the jackpot. The market is competitive and unpredictable. But by investing in a diversified portfolio of promising companies, you're increasing your chances of being a part of the next big breakthrough. Diversification is key to managing risk and maximizing potential rewards. Now I know I've thrown a lot of exciting information at you about technology and innovation, and it's easy to get swept up in the hype to see dollar signs every time you hear about a new gadget or scientific breakthrough. But here's the thing, investing in technology, especially emerging technologies, requires a healthy dose of caution and a whole lot of due diligence. Remember, not every cool idea is going to be a billion dollar business. In fact, most startups fail. And even those that succeed don't always deliver those massive returns that investors dream about. That's why it's absolutely crucial to do your research before investing in any technology company. Don't just blindly follow the hype or invest based on a hot tip from your uncle's friend's neighbor. Take the time to understand the company's business model, their competitive landscape, their financials, and their management team. Read industry reports, follow relevant news, and don't be afraid to ask questions. The more you know about a company and its industry, the better equipped you'll be to make informed investment decisions. And remember, diversification is key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, no matter how promising it seems. Spread your risk across multiple companies and sectors to protect your portfolio from unexpected downturns.
So there you have it. Technology and innovation are changing the world at an unprecedented pace. And the best part is, you can be a part of this revolution, not just as a consumer, but as an investor. By putting your money into the right companies, you're not just hoping for a return, you're actively shaping the future. But remember, investing in technology is not without its risks. It's crucial to do your research, diversify your portfolio, and never invest more than you can afford to lose. Don't get caught up in the hype, focus on the fundamentals, be patient, and invest for the long term. The future is full of possibilities, and the opportunities are limitless. So, embrace the unknown, stay curious, and never stop learning. The world is changing, and those who adapt and evolve will be the ones who reap the greatest rewards. Well, there you have it. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the importance of diversification to the exciting potential of emerging markets and the transformative power of technology. Remember, these are just three of the many investment strategies that can help you maximize your returns in 2025 and beyond. The key takeaway here is that knowledge is power. The more you understand about different asset classes, investment strategies, and market trends, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions and achieve your financial goals. Don't forget to do your own research, consult with a financial advisor if needed, and most importantly, never stop learning. This is your financial journey, and you're in the driver's seat. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on building wealth and achieving financial freedom.